we all know it's a terrible time for you and your family and, and everyone in Ukraine these days. First of all, um, how are you at, at this moment? Doesn't matter how I feel. I think first of all, my wife and uh, my babysitter and uh, my father and everyone who is there needs my help and needs me to be calm. So, so that helps me because I need to be a little bit cold-headed and try to fix as many things as possible. But right now, uh, every day it's getting worse and worse because. All of my wife's city, where she was born and raised, is just completely destroyed. And a lot of innocent people are dying at this moment when we are sitting here and I cannot say that I feel bad or something like this. I try, try to cheer my family, that's my main goal. What my friends uh, and my family is experiencing last week is just a disaster, living in bombshells, being afraid to not have the next day, next morning, you know, living in fear. The bombs are just flying everywhere and the message from me to them is, hold on, because Ukraine will win. And Russia is already defeated. Because Ukraine may, may lost people, but they are heroes and uh, Ukraine will build again and the whole world will help it. But Ukraine will raise and be uh, even bigger than, than he was. But Russia lost everyone. No one wants there. And if people are wondering, we know you're from Georgia, but Ukraine is like your second home country. Uh, your wife is from the Ukraine. You've got a family and, and friends, like you said. My uh, father, my sister, my mother and uh, my, uh, my father's second wife is Ukrainian. My father is half Ukrainian by blood. My wife is Ukrainian. My son is Ukrainian. I lived in Ukraine for eight years. All my mature, mature life I spent in Ukraine in those exact uh, places where the bombs were flying yesterday. But the uh, whole Ukraine is united, 40 million people is against, uh, I don't know how many, 100,000 of Russian soldiers that don't, know, don't want to fight. And I really hope that uh, this will end soon, because this will end, I know how, Ukraine will win by, with uh, our European support. But uh, as long as this work is continuing, the moral losses we will have in civilians. We're here in Denmark, we're seeing all the news, all the horrific images, and, and I can't even imagine how it must be for them and, and, and for you as well. Uh, how can you help them in any way? First of all, we are trying to help financially because uh, almost a million people already left the country and uh, they didn't take any clothes or uh, they don't have products, what to eat, where to live. And uh, I think our mission and uh, whole Europe's mission that care about other people is to help the refugees and the people who are stuck in the bombshell by sending, I don't know, even toys because uh, small children one-year-old children, in one bed you can see eight children just sleeping in the bombshell underground where, where, the, where it's almost impossible to live. And seeing all the support the Ukrainians have got from, from all the world and, and people making fundraisers, donations and trying to help going to the Polish border and with all kinds of stuff, um, how does that make you feel? This is truly amazing because uh, uh, my part of my friends, they went on the border and they said the whole world just just don't care if you have passport or you don't have passport or you have money, everything is free, everyone tries to help and uh, this means a lot because I think uh, the guy who wanted to invade Ukraine, he just st sticked together the whole other world, the whole continent is now together against him and uh, people who are losing their homes people who are losing their cities, people who is attacked by the occupant, 
they really not need our help. And I cannot say that someone must do it, but I think it's a, our job of humanity to help others who are in need. We saw the flag you held on, on Sunday before the game. We saw the fans singing your name after the game. Um, how was that day for you? Uh, I was just speaking with Marius about it. That uh, when I'm like alone or with my family, it's I must say like I try to stay calm. But when uh, when everyone is uh, singing and I see, like Ukraine flags and you have these flashbacks of the videos that what is happening in the country. So I really think it's not about me, not about singing my name. Of course, I'm pleased with it and I'm really thankful that uh, fans uh, stand with my family but it's about uh, f more than 14 million that that are sitting in bombshell for eight days straight now. It's all for them. Be with Ukraine, not with me or my family only. And I know we have initiated a fundraising a donation to the children of Ukraine, a special auction as well with the shirts on Friday. People can, can bid and hopefully that can make a, a, little, a little difference. It will. It will. Every, everything counts now because, as I said, 40 million people, around 40 million people, is in potential big danger. Uh, anything else you would like to add about uh, what <laughs> what people can do to to help Ukraine? And I just want to say thank you for the support, not from myself but from my family that that are there. Because when I told the family that they are raising, they were just cheering it up. And it's small things, but uh, in these difficult situations, they the small things make the big dif difference and. The whole world knows now, now how to donate uh, anything because I don't want to be uh, sticking people together and I'm not good at organizing, so just please try to help the people who are in need now. Because tomorrow maybe we are in need and people will help us. I want to say sorry to the whole Ukrainian country and the president and all the people that are suffering because of my my government, uh, who is in charge right now, decided not to land the plane from Ukraine and send Georgian volunteers to Ukraine. And they didn't support the sanctions, so I must say sorry, because Ukraine needs us, Ukraine needs whole world, and everyone is helping around, and uh, I'm really ashamed that my government, where I, where I was born and raised, is... Uh, not sending volunteers that wants, wants to uh, and will fight against occupant that is occupied, that I must say also occupied my co second country, Georgia. And I saw it myself 2008 when they occupied 20% of uh, Georgian territory. I was 16 years old when, they tr when the jets were flying over me and fly just dropping bombs. 2014, they occupied Donetsk and Lugansk region, and now everyone sees what they do. Whole world needs to just get rid of this dictator that owns my own 20% of my country, and now he wants to take my family's and my wife's country as well. I'm making this interview only to try to spread the message to all of the world, because uh, I know there are people that believe that Russia started uh, not occupation, not genocide, but they started to free U Ukrainian people. And the video that I saw yesterday uh, just completely destroyed me. It was not with the tears, with not, nothing. There is 60 year old uh, grandma standing with her uh, grandchild that is like 10, 11 years old, and just behind them the house is burning. And she says, Putin, thank you for free, freeing us, now we have where to live. And behind them is their house that is burning.
So I want as many people as possible to see this and just go out and try to get rid of this virus that we have in, on our continent. And of course, if they have uh, will and if they have uh, uh, things for it to help uh, people that are suffering from uh, biggest threat after, after since, since World War II, I would say. Everyone needs to try to stand with them and hopefully the war will end soon. All the best and extremely many thoughts and, and prayers to your family, to your friends and, and all the population of Ukraine. Yeah, and I want to finish with two words, Slava Ukraini. Thank <laughs> you.